Hey, what's going on? Thanks for visiting. I thought we'd take a quick look at the light tension dead end grip for the all dielectric self-supporting fiber optic cable. If you want to check out the fiber that's associated with this cable, uh, I'll put an annotation on here. There will be a description in the comments below, so check that out. Okay, um, the other thing I do want to mention is there are a handful of different sizes for different diameters of fiber optic cables. So make sure, just double check that the one that's available matches your fiber. So another thing that'll um, indicate different sizes is the marking right here. You'll notice it's colored orange and this specifies that it's associated with a certain diameter of cable. So there's also going to be a handful of colors. And another nice thing is if this is up in the air and you're looking at it from down below, if you see the orange, you'll know what diameter cable that is associated with it. And it helps out with the install or if you got to make some changes or just keep everything the same down the road for add-ons, that sort of thing. So this is the loop diameter right there and it, this is basically the end of it right here at the colored marking also. And I don't know if you can tell, but the as you go down, it does look, you'll, you can tell the video it's got a different color than the part up here in the loop. Now this part, the rest of it is, it has a latex coating. So that'll help the, I guess the cable and the, that part protect the, it just helps out the install, not damage the cable. Uh, long term, it'll also extend the life of the cable, that sort of thing. The product ID tag is up here at the top. And that'll also tell you some description um, and application information on this particular part. And the end of the this particular, you can tell the they're flared at the bottom and that's just to prevent jacket damage. And that's pretty much it. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. This is a um, light tension, so it's not like the the, the more heavy-duty stuff. And because you don't want one of those type of heavier-duty cables on the ADSS fiber, because it it, it will pretty much kind of crush the fiber itself. Uh, put some, it'll squeeze the signal going through. Where these are designed for fiber optic cable. The other thing I do want to mention, the light tension dead ends. The most common question I guess I get asked is, what is the span length for these? Um, if you are going to use this, maybe from pole to pole, um, you got a handful of these out there. But the 300 feet is the maximum span length, so that's probably, that's, that's pretty decent. I mean, you put a pole 300 feet away, you can still use one of these. That's pretty. That's a pretty nice run. So it is not recommended for um, going over highways and rivers and that sort of thing. So if you want a more detailed spec sheet, you can check this out online at discountlowvoltage.com and you can also order them there.